my digi viewers welcome to my blog in today's blog we're going to do a free walking tour of lima peru welcome to peru Crow balcony is the Archbishop's Palace. That yellow corner with green balcony is named El Oidor House. What does El Oidor mean? El Oidor was something like a judge in my story of the time. And also our independence was proclamated from that green balcony by General José de San Martín. But that's a new name. The main square had an old name. It was Plaza de Armas. Why Plaza de Armas? because the Spanish people used to execute people here. Cusco's Plaza de Armas has a Quechua name. It's Huaca y Pata. Huaca means... They are the last seat from the Golden Times of the Republic. After that, Lima Chincha Lodge. It's the San Agustin Monastery, that is San Agustin Church over there. This is a famous park for families. This river is full of February. Why? Because in February we have summer highlights, they have rain. When the river is full, there is no real nature to the house, it's like a library. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the original seal from the city of the kings in Castle Birds? Oh, they true. are gallinas. Look at gallinas flying. Beautiful. It's for conferences. In my royalty times, Lima was a very important city. It had towns, marquees, times are changing.
yeah. you just cross the tunnel. A little bit of house is going to be in Connecticut. And then Boston. Dominic Church. At first, all the churches in the city had Baroque styles, but when we had an architect named Matias Maestro, he used another style, the neoclassical style, as you can see. The neoclassical style is more simple than Baroque style. The most important thing in Baroque style is the decoration. In neoclassical style, the most important thing is the religious image. Look, that's the choir. The choir. This that means generosity. Mm -hmm. Saint John Macias, he was a Spanish, but he lived a lot of years here, but that reason we consider him Peruvian. Down, you can see the original scarf, page one. They are located in the monastery of St. Francis. If you want to visit a tower, all is possible to do that here, in this tower, okay? <laughs> I'm 
This is Casa de la Literatura Peruana. The news about the president. We are behind the government palace. Oh. oh, okay. In front of us, we can see the old train station, Los de San Parados train station. environment and sometimes TV programs use the environment for TV interviews especially about old soccer players. Mm -hmm. Soccer is our national sport and our second national sport is eating. Okay? Eating. Cordano bar could be a good Okay we went to a restaurant with pisco sour. Bodega y Cuadra is the last name from a Spanish family that lived here in Viceroy at the time. They had a business, it was a butcher, but now the building is a museum. It no? shows us the original architecture. The second floor is interesting too. No, it shows a uh, Chinese pottery from the golden times of the Republic. Alpaca. Oh, oh. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> you love it? Uh, you love it? It's just in the city, it's St. Francis Church. It's got Baroque style in the architecture. In the monastery, we can find the catacombs. The catacombs were the first cemetery in the city. This museum is very popular in church. That red building.
Okay, 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 mga embas, embas. Tang mo dito, dito, dito. We can find a Chinatown named Kapong Street. Oh, Chinatown? Chinatown. It's going straight. We can find a red arch with green roof. Chinatown. Named Kapong Street. Kapong Street. Government center is going to come up Oh my god, I like, not like the smell It's like a real yacht Thank you.